Matt, pre-season's well underway now. We're, at, uh, we're sort of 10, 12 days in. We've got a game under our belts. Uh, firstly, um, a new goalkeeping coach to work with. You've, you've worked with plenty already in your, uh, in your short career. How much are you enjoying working with Mike? Yeah, I'm loving it. Um, every goalkeeper brings something different to the table, but he's, he's great. You know, you can't, you can't deny the experience that he's got. Is that is, is nothing but fantastic. You know, Premier League goalkeeper, and obviously that's something where I want to get to. So, little things that I can take from him every day is uh, is really good. So I've just I'm enjoying taking every day as it comes and uh, learning different things every day with with Polly. As as um, Deck and a couple of senior players have said, irrelevant of whether you're early twenties mid to late 30s you are always learning in football there's always a new opportunity to learn and that's the the way a, a new voice brings to to, to the, um, the the coaching definitely yeah well obviously when you when you're involved in the first team set up there's there's so many different things you can take each day not just from the goalkeepers but from the senior lads especially me still being a young keeper i can learn every day from little things about what the senior players do and try and follow in their footsteps to become the right kind of professional and do things the right way um, so there's that side of things and then there's also the goalkeeper side of things where I'm learning from the other goalkeepers but also from Polly who's the new goalkeeper coach so it's a win-win situation really you can't you can't really get that experience elsewhere um, so having that experience at the club is is vital to be honest it's really good. 30 minutes on Saturday how much did you enjoy the run out? Yeah it was great obviously quite new for me because in, in past seasons I've not really got the minutes that I would have liked to but definitely it was uh, it was great to get to get out on the pitch on Saturday and uh, hopefully I can get some more minutes under my belt for the rest of the pre-season but at the moment it's just a case of taking every game as it comes and you know just going with the flow because obviously the games come thick and fast in pre-season and then before we know it the season will be upon us so but no, um, it's been really good. I enjoyed Saturday. It was good to get that first win and hopefully we can follow it up tomorrow. A lot of your work Saturday wasn't necessarily with the hands. It was A lot of the work was with the feet. But were you impressed with your, your feet on Saturday? Is that a, an area of the game that the, the fans, when they get to see you, will we'll see there's something you, you enjoy? Yeah, definitely. Obviously, kicking and distribution is one of the fun parts. Um, you know, that's something that you you kind of learn every day and it's probably not something you work on as a thing as a main thing it's something you work on yourself to kind of develop and it's always been something what, that I've enjoyed doing um, even if it means just staying behind 10 minutes after training to kick a few balls at a mannequin or at a cone or it's always been something that I've enjoyed so um, that's definitely one of my my main attributes I would say and um, definitely be looking to try and use that as much as I can whenever I'm in, whenever I'm involved. Yeah, distribution is so important, isn't it, for a goalkeeper these days? You, you, you can play, you play the role in keeping the ball out, but you also can be part of the attack. You almost got an assist, I think, on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good fun. Like I say, um, I enjoy making assists and setting up attacks. And to be honest, it's more a case of getting the ball away from the goal. Um, for, the further it is away from me, the less I'll have to do is, is how I probably see it. So, you look at the likes of like Allison and Edison, keepers like that, they can ping the ball 90 yards and get the team up the pitch um, and just relief off the off the defenders and the midfielders. So it's it's good to know that the lads are going to run for you and if you kick the ball 90 yards, they're going to chase after it. So it's good to know we've got players in the team that are willing to do that. It's John Mirov is the next uh, part of pre-season. We've played an ex Preston manager and Graham Alexander on a uh, weekend. We've got another one in Michael Jackson on on, on Tuesday. Uh, it's still a sort of the next step, isn't it? And then that's what all pre-season about. It's taking one step at a time. Yeah, that's it. Just keep ticking each game off as it comes. Obviously, it's League Two opposition, but it's it's a really good team in Tranmere, really nice stadium. Um, so again, it's just getting the minutes under the belt, playing different teams, seeing what kind of styles they play. Because I'm sure it's the same kind of style that we're going to come up against in the championship. So it's just a case of doing our thing, going out there and trying to trying to get that win. Um, the more we can get the wins, the the more confidence that's going to flow in the team going into the first game of the season. So it's nothing but positive on that side of things if we can keep winning. There's a bit of added uh, importance to both Salford on Saturday and Tramway on Tuesday, given that our next game is a, is a competitive fixture. Yeah, well, like I say, we're, we're straight into it, straight into it. Um, 
we, we mentioned that a couple of these teams have already had a few weeks ahead of us, but it doesn't really matter because we had a short break, but most of the lads were already, the fitness levels were already really high. So yes, we've come straight back into it, but you can see straight away, you can see in training that everyone's raring to go and raring to get that first game, which we did on Saturday. And it showed that everyone was, everyone was ready because the result went our way. Um, so yeah, like I say, it's just, to, like they come, they come in thick and fast, but, everyone will be ready and everyone's raring to go and raring to play. So it, it's good to see. Yeah, and, and normally at the early stage of pre-season, there's not that competitive edge to, to, to perhaps, you, of course, you, you're fighting and trying to get in the manager's mind, but you're normally three or four weeks away from selection on that opening day of the season. That's not really the case this week because we've got Mansfield on Saturday, which is a competitive League Cup fixture and everybody will, will want to play. Yeah, that's it. That's, everyone's fighting for places. Um Pre-season is always the same. Everyone's raring to go and raring to kind of make an impression on the manager. And that's definitely something that I want to do. You know, it's um, to get, obviously, if I'm getting minutes, I definitely want to show the people who are watching what I can do um, to put myself in the frame um, to maybe play or, you know, be involved at least. And that's that's got to be the main aim for everyone, for every game. Um, but no, it's, it's great. It's good to see that everyone's raring to go and wants to be involved in the games. And that you can't ask for much more than that. In terms of the experience of playing in front of uh, of empty crowds, that we're hoping we'll have fans back in by by October. But at the moment, we know the season will start at least for the first couple of games behind closed doors, and 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 it's getting used to that again, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's just going again, really. I mean, the, the last season feels like it was only yesterday because it was. It wasn't really wasn't long ago. And then, like I say, we're straight back into it. So it's it's good that the lads have had the experience of playing with no fans towards the back end of last season. Um, and however may, however long that may be now, hopefully it's not too long, um, we can try and get them games out of the way and then get the fans back in. That's got to be the main aim. Um, and then hopefully things will be back to normal before we know it. But um, like I say, we've just got to take each game as it comes. And then whenever that day comes that everyone's allowed back in, it'll be, it'll be a really good good day.